Good to see you. Well, good luck to everyone in New York, indeed. Native New Yorker or just visiting, because a uh, disaster was the word stamped on New York, along with one or two other places in America, after well, Irene passed through with the wild winds, indeed. Now then, let's get back to Earth uh, in this country, and uh, morning in particular. How would you like your toast? A nice splodge of butter and jam, or a spread of marmite with a bit of... Simon Cowell on it, let me tell you. Earlier this year, if you were watching the television series Britain's Got Talent, the Welsh were doing us proud, as Nathan Wyburn from Mibble Vale worked his magic with a pile of toast and a pot of marmite as well. And to tell us more, we've taken him more or less under our wing because he keeps reporting back to uh, just to tell us how he's getting on. The fine arts student joins me in the studio now. And uh, Nathan, you're very welcome. Good afternoon to you. Hello, thanks for having me back. No, pleasure, pleasure. <laughs> it's regular now. <laughs> uh, you, you, uh, you became an internet sensation first of all, didn't you? Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah that's right. Well, then, and then you went on Britain's Got Talent. Yes, um, basically I started uploading my artwork in time-lapse form, yes. me creating the artworks onto YouTube, and right now it's at about 3.8 million views. Oh, is that quite right? quite cool, yeah. It is extraordinary, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Marvellous. And then Britain's Got Talent, you know, in, in the final, you know, it just went a bit, bit aped in it. Or yes, getting yeah. Into the, final, yeah. the time factor more, yeah, more than anything. More so. than anything I didn't upset you at all. I remember talking to you afterwards. Yeah. You seemed le- very level-headed about it. Yeah, definitely. Things happen for a reason. I've got a lot of work since, so... Have you? Yes, definitely. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Now then, uh, for someone who doesn't know your truly remarkable talent, and I don't know where they've been if they don't, uh, you, you know, can you just explain what you do now? Yeah, basically, um, I take everyday items, household items, garden items, like food, soil, anything, and use them to turn them into a piece of artwork, usually a celebrity portrait, right? which is what I'm most known for. So, Where did this idea come from? Now, remind me, you know, were you sitting somewhere and then suddenly there was a flash of inspiration or something? Yeah, basically, I was reading in the magazine an article about Simon Cowell, an X Factor, I think it was, yeah. and I read that you either love or hate Simon Cowell. Yes. And that made me think of Marmite, so I decided to paint his portrait in Marmite. That's right, going and back everything. to the balance. Yeah. yeah, gosh. And, you know, back there, you, you were doing quite well. You, you managed to get three, three yeses from, from the judges, didn't you? Yes, in the audition, yeah. In the audition, yeah. Yeah, no problem at all, really. And you've done a lot of charity work as well. Yes, yeah. That's right. Is, is it uh, Spina Bifida? Spina is, is Bifida, one? yeah. yeah. Um, I've basically helped create a calendar for them, and I'm donating a few pieces of my artwork for an auction. Oh, that's good. Yes. That's good, yeah. Now then, it's not every day, of course, we see Marmite used in such a way, but uh, have you been able to exhibit your work in various places? Yeah, um, basically tomorrow yeah. I have an exhibition started in the Capitol Centre in Cardiff, oh, right. a six-week-long ex- exhibition right. alongside Bernardo's. Yes. They contacted me and basically asked to help with their fun day and just basically draw attention in. Yes. So all my artwork is going to be in the windows for about six weeks, so anyone can come along and see. You're not going to be working in the window? I will be for tomorrow. Oh. I'll be creating their logo on toast. Just a bit of fun, you know, to yes. sort of interact with Bernardo's. Using Mar- Marmite as well? Yes, Marmite uh-huh. again. So and then go. different times over the next six weeks, yes. I will be reappearing and making different things. Yes. So now you said household, uh, you know, goods or whatever. Yes. I'm looking at sugar here now. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's the word, really. You produce Alan Sugar's face in sugar. Yep. That were granulated? Yes, granulated, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is on Facebook. If you go to, you know, bbc.co.uk and find the Roy Noble programme, it's on Facebook there. There'll be no problem at all. You'll see Nathan, Alan Sugar, made from sugar. Yeah. Uh, you don't know, you're not quite sure whether you've seen it yet. I'm not quite sure, no. I put it on his Twitter, but I'm, I didn't get a reply, so... Yeah, it's very, very convincing, isn't it? And so, yeah. How big is it, would it be? It's about five foot by about four, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's quite big. It's quite big, this mm-hmm. one. Good heavens above, and others as well. Michael Chopra. Yes. Soccer player. Yep. Chapati bread portrait. <laughs> yeah. That is. With curry paste, yeah. With curry paste. Yes, curry. All oh, right. <laughs> uh, Simon Cowell, that's very, very convincing as well. I like this one too. Marilyn Monroe. Uh, whoa, covers a, bit, a fair bit of ground here because what you've done is use Valley's dirt. Yes, different colour soils and dirt, yeah. But the, but the dirt actually forms the outline, doesn't it? Yep. In, in little clumps of it. Yeah, it's basically uh, drawing with an environmental friendly piece of work which you can describe Fair. whenever you want. Very cleverly done. Thank you. Yeah. And now then, in the big cheese festival in Caerphilly, I can only guess what you used there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I used cheese. Yes, um, different colour cheeses, Red Leicester and the lighter one, I can't remember which one that was, but yes. and cottage cheese as well um, to create Tommy Cooper's face because obviously he's from Caerphilly. For. And um, I had a little stall with all my work on show, and people right. could come up and speak to me. So it was yes. a fun weekend. Is soft cheese easier to work with than uh, the hard cheese, or it doesn't matter? N- no, it was quite it was quite difficult. Both of them were. I tried them both out, but soft oh, is right. a little bit easier. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. 
So a, a, any other material? I just suppose the world's your oyster now. You, you can't look at a cupboard without thinking I could use that. Yes, yeah, so I, I was lit- I was laying in bed the other night listing everything out that I could possibly use. Really? And hopefully I'm going to get them all done over the next few weeks. And what was? how long was the list? Uh, about two pages long. <laughs> was it? <laughs> just, 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 that, that was off the top of my head. So. Yeah, great. And, and they're always portraits? I try to keep them portraits, yeah. Yeah, yeah. quite, quite well. Yes. So there we are, the inspiration comes, no problem at all. You can see these people on television or whatever. Yeah, and it pops into my head. And yeah, then there we go. And you're, you're also involved with the Bridgen Food Festival, I gather. Yes, um, every year they have one artist as their main artist to create artwork to cause a bit of a stir about the festival. Right. And this year I was contacted probably because of Britain's Got Talent. Yeah. And um, I'm going to be creating artwork all over the weekend, including a member of the public's face, which is a unique experience for a member of the public, obviously, because yes. normally I create celebrities, and yeah, it's not exactly. every day they get to make it no, happen. No, no. So, and the Cardiff Pride Festival you'll be involved with, and there's a yes. special performer there, isn't there? Yes, um, Joe McAldry is headlining at yeah. the Pulse Street Party on Churchill Way, right. and I'll be, I've created his portrait and framed it, and I'm going to be presenting it to him live on stage, so oh, it's good. Big, it's, big moment, big moment. Yes, yeah. And, of course, third year of university coming up. Yeah, I start back on the 27th, I think, yeah. and it's going to be a busy year, especially with all this going on. I, I was going to say. Yeah, it's going to be a big dissertation as well, so hopefully... Have, have you been able to sort of, you know, have a chat with your students or some of your tutors, maybe, about what's going on here? Yes, yeah, hopefully I'm going to be able to um, use them both, like, alongside each other and interact with them both, so... Yeah, yeah. I, I bet your tutors are quite impressed with, you know, the inroads you've been made, able to make with, you, with your work. Yeah, some of them are, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And so without letting the cat out of the bag now, have you got any big plans that you were, you know, get a twinkle in your eye about? Yes, a few big plans. There's possible TV show coming up, working with, alongside two children. So right. children's TV programmes, sort of fun right. things, and a potential book around Christmas time. Oh, wow, so, a book of your work? Yes, it'll go ahead from you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it'll have to be done now if it's Christmas time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Publishing is it's all full pelt, that one yes, is, because, yeah. you, know, you know, it takes a bit of time to turn around a book, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, I wish you well, Nathan. Thank it's you. always very impressive when you come back here and you still bounce back. And good luck to you now in the, the degree course. Yep. And after that, who knows? Yep, definitely. Because, you know, you have a career in art, of course, mm-hmm. fine art. Yes, and so the so show you know you you probably go back to. Would you go back now to to a palette and paint and and brush and stuff? I wouldn't like to, but maybe it'll click in my head that someday I should. But yeah, you never know. You never know. Yeah. Well, Nathan Wyburn's a man, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make a note of it now, because before very long, with this kind of success, you'll have to be living abroad for tax reasons. <laughs> <laughs> be nice. Yeah, indeed. Talented Welsh artist from everywhere. Good to see you. Thank you. You too.